Wow. This is always one of the nicer parts of the evening. The Lancer Awards. Making their way to the ring. With their LWF Tag Team oh, Championship. Oh, Heskin back. And weighing in. And a combined weight of 410 pounds. They are the reigning and defending LWF Tag Team Champions. The team of the Marathon Man. Captain B and the housewife's favourite marauder, they are the Lancadors! Well, this is, this is it. Four teams. The LWF Tag Team Championship belt handed above this ring. We saw the Lancadors in a brutal street fight at Summer Smash against the House of Stone. But this could be something on a slightly different level. Never before have we had a ladder match in the LWF. And surely Town Hall is the best place to showcase it. The Lancador is confident as ever, but we've seen the length that the Lancadors will go to. They broke themselves at Summer Smash. Mr. B playing for this LWF crowd. This is what it's all about. This is not going to be for the faint. These matches are a lot harder than they look. And it is no wonder that these wrestlers go to the extreme lengths they go to. And here's one team that has their eyes on that prize. Whether you stand with them or can't stand them, the brand are here for those LWF Tag Team Championship tonight. They're all tall, tall now, but they can back it up when they need to. Bailey Vegas, the only Vegas that matters, weighing in at 370 pounds, they are the team of Real Ryan Lowe and the only J.D. King. They are the Brown! Almost all the atmosphere in here tonight. There's almost a slight anticipation, a slight fear, worry, whatever you want to call it, maybe an overall anxiety. There is so much determination to take those tag team championship belts that hang high above our ring. This was the most unexpected team of the four-way ladder match. Moon Bear is in the building. First, from 
from the Arrow Valley Park in Chorley are weighing in at 2,862 daisies. He is the connoisseur of Connell Combat. Oh, the Lankadors and the brand are kicking off in the ring already. We're going to have to calm that down. But Crash is out here to join Moonbear. From Leyland in Lancashire and weighing in at 200. 45 pounds! Look at Clark, he looks confident that this is his sort of chaos. Bama! Bama! He is Clash! And together they are the Moon Hogs! Oh. The, the most unorthodox combination. This is talked about backstage during SummerSmack. Clash has a lot of problems of his own, let's not forget, with Ace Wheeler. But tonight, he wants to inject some confidence into himself since losing that Red Rose Championship at Clamadanza. And we remember here is a powerful big man. There's somebody even bigger. The tank shot off him. Just in case he's out here with headgear on. And the third challenging team. First, hailing from parts unknown. I'm waiting at 24 stone. He is the Titan. Chad Austin. Chad Austin is ruthless. Fearsome. Justin Advisor, Justin K. I mean, you've got to admire Justin Case for the work he has done to get into this contest. He is heavily armoured up tonight. But the reality is, that those championships hang over Once the ring. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, please stay in your seats during this match. As you can see, we've got eight wrestlers, we've got ladders, we've got all sorts going on. Please, for your own safety, remain in your seats. Thank you. Eight competitors, one championship chance. They hang above the ring. The prize is there. This is one of the most chaotic matches we've seen in the LWF. And it is underway. As Moonbear and Chad Austin stare down the biggest men in this match. Well, Steve, as of right now, all of us are in the splash zone. So, basically, let's all cross our fingers and let's hope that no one gets hurt. And I'm including us in that. We have got four teams. We've got the Lankadors, the champions. We've got the brand. We've got Just In Case. Oh, and Chad Austin. And we've got the Moon Punks. Moon Bear and Clash. Oh. Oh. Well, Just In Case is on the case. Moon Bear wanting none of that. And here comes Clash. Clash has got a sign. Oh. So back to Chad Austin who doesn't. He's not phased. He's not phased. Look at the size of him. Chad Austin completely. Oh. Clash takes it to the head. Well, the Stephen Gerrard sign was a. Uh, wasn't very effective when Clash used it, but it was when the Titan did. This is unorthodox. And Ryan Law, that might have been a mistake. And Moonbow with a left left jab. Oh, it's that fake hand of the Lankadors. That's not going to do any damage to somebody like Chad Austin. I don't think everyone else in this match got the memo. Leave the big dudes alone. Oh! The Lord are over the top rope. Well, hang on, JD King's got a chair, Steve. Oh, no, no. Slightly more painful. No, again, no. Moonbear came here to fight. Oh! oh! Well, these JD, JD King just got downgraded to being a knight. What are these guys going to do to Chad Austin and Moonbear in this match? The chair to the ribs. Oh, no. Oh! Sabu style, and you've seen that first hand, Steve. Absolutely, I have. 
Mr. B taking that square in the face and now oh. finally we get a fight between these two big men. It's Moonbear and the Titans. The big daddy and giant he sucks having a ladder match, Steve. There's no ladders invented that'll hold them. Oh look at this! Oh, oh my word. god! Oh, oh my god! Got him. Unbelievable strike from Moonbear! And somehow the ring is still standing. We've got fights breaking out all over here. Me and Ryan Law going at it in front of us. Oh! I'll tell you what, Steve, I, 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 we might have to bail at some point here. Oh my god! Tad Austin with the choke bomb on Moonbear. I never thought I'd see that. Oh. The attack on Titan there. You've got to feel for our officials who are right in the middle of this. Oh, and look, he's. he's oh! oh right in the Austins. JD oh. King went low. Huge clothesline to the back. But just in case, it looked it looked like just in case he was going to get a boost there by uh, Chad Austin. Honestly, that might have been enough. Oh, JD King. JD King's going to take King. right. JD King. This is a terrible idea. I thought he was going to fly then. I still get the feeling he might. Oh these guys are running below. No. Oh, I don't even oh like. No. I don't even like JD King. But this is a bit too much. Oh no! 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 Oh! JD King into the pack. They go down like skittles. The officials. Let's not forget, Steve. They got their work cut out tonight. Last oh last week at Muti number 19. Chad, just in case, in the brand won a tag team, an eight-man tag team match that included the Lancadors and the Moon Pups. Then they turned on each other afterwards. So there is, there is no honour amongst thieves. And what is Chad Austin doing? Chad Austin Steve, should not be. Steve, Steve, what is Chad Austin? Chad doing? Austin should not be thinking about whatever he's thinking I, about I, here. I, I don't want to see this. Steve. Chad Austin. Oh! Chad Austin should not be taking flight, and he has done that from the ring apron. We have carnage around us as we expected. Oh, just. And now, not, surely not just in case. Just in case has padded himself up like an American footballer tonight. What is he thinking? Came all the way from Wapping today in his uh, chauffeur driven Cadillac. Oh, it's the old trust ball. Well, we've got to say that just in case has. Well, prepared just, for this. Well, just in case in Chad Austin, they've got everyone else down. They need to go for the victory here. They were smart moves. Honestly, see, I think Chad Austin might actually be able to reach up I and grab those that, all by himself. As I mentioned just before, it's not just oh, about reaching go. them. It's about unfastening them. Here that we is, go. That is just as difficult. New champions, maybe. Oh, the Lankadors. Lankadors. Oh, oh, that, was, that was low to Chad Austin. Oh, my word. Oh, electric charge up. Inadvertent by the Titan. The Lankadors ain't no stranger to this environment. Chad Austin, uh, we know he has one weakness. We've seen it twice so far. It's a weakness most of us share. I'm going to cross the legs, I think, after seeing some of these. Yeah, that was unpleasant. We saw enough of that at Summer Smash. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, oh. what a powerbomb, just in case. He's taking some punishment in this. Four, te four teams. Two championship belts. Oh dear me, Steve. Gonna, one winners, one set of winners, Steve. A trash can. Mm. We're going to be American oh. about this. We've got a metal bin, Steve. We've got a metal uh, bin. Uh, you, you do that side of it. Uh. <laughs> I'm still gutted that some Yanks are going to buy everything. It's bad enough that you're using American parlance. I do. A waste paper receptacle. Is that better? <laughs> oh no. Oh, this is going to be an ear ringer. Chad Austin's going to feel it. Ding, ding, ding! Ah, jeez. Well, that's Chad Austin's wake up call. Well, that's one way to it fight the giant. It might have the opposite effect, though. I, I, I have no idea who's going to win this match, Steve. I think it'll just be... If you don't win a match like this, you survive it. Uh, we have so many people at ringside here to try and keep some form of order and it's admirable that they're they are putting themselves on the line here just like these four competitors are we've got a ladder in the ring two of them now captain b conducting the crowd here the noise in this building jolly town all shaking i guess he's now composer b he goes for a lot of, he goes, goes for a lot of different jobs doesn't he captain b composer b major oh, oh don't wait. say that i'll put that on a shirt anyway 
just in case. What, oh, DDT? No. DDT maybe oh not. no, Rude Head Awakening. Breaker. Oh! Lankador is working in tandem. I never saw Rick Rude do it quite that way, Steve. Well, this has been chaos already. Although I will say that uh, the Marauder is certainly ravishing. Clash is over by us here, and he is a very, very badly beaten up young man. I've got to say, I think it's smart to take a breather at this stage. Well, you don't want to rest for too long, Sig, otherwise someone else will grab the belts. Like I said, it's not just the, the reach on the belts, Mikey, it's the unfastening of them as well. That is no easy feat. At that height, when you're under pressure, what has Chad Austin got that ladder for? Well, he, he doesn't need a full-size ladder. He's already... Oh, my... No. No, no, no. Not no, a top no. 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 Oh! Onto that ladder went the water and boom. Don't Chad turn, Austin. Chad. Don't turn, Chad. You can grab the belts. Chad Austin can grab the belts. What's Why he is he climbing down? Oh, he's letting, he's letting his buddy have the, uh, have the, have the, have the honour. It's just in case... Some, but, some but, very... Some perhaps un, un ill advised arrogance here from Chad Austin. He could have easily Why do reached I get up and grabbed those belts, but I think they want to inflict more punishment. Why do I get the feeling that Justin Case wants to take those belts himself? Well, Justin Case needs to get over himself. He may just cost his team the belts there. Here come the moon punks. Well, whatever they were trying there is not going to pay off as the moon punks as you. As you uh, affectionately call them. Oh! Back in the ascendancy. They're Shock back in City. it. Oh! Clash, who's had a battle of his own with Chad Austin recently. Big kick by Moonbird. Oh! They're working in tandem. Great call signed by Clash. Well, it's called the Stairway to Hell match. And he just sent Chad Austin straight to hell, boy. Look at this. Clash and Moonbird working together. Oh, there's a ladder in that corner as well. Say, oh! Just in case he's taking some punishment in this. If he does want those belts, he's going to struggle getting up any ladder. Oh, I thought... Corner, cut out! Oh! Jeez, the oh. ring nearly bounced into us. That is a hug that no one wants. Oh! There's the train in vain. You splash oh. from Moonbird! And that's just in case trained in vain. Maybe after that. Well, it's knocked his headgear off. We'll have to give it back to Lawrence Delalio. Wait a minute, what? Moonbone and Clash of a ladder. Look out, JD King's behind them. Oh, JD oh, King. That. That, that was smart. Very smart. That oh! Was tremendous athleticism from JD King as he always displays. Being double stumped onto those ladders. Oh, he's stuck. He's trapped. He's had a ladder. He's trapped. They got a steel chair. We saw that in the opening match, see? The intensity of the brand. They have been campaigning for so long to get to this moment. The world is right in front of us. Oh, oh they're stuck into the chair. Oh, not two of them. Not two of them. They need to keep Moonbird down. Oh! There's another one. Two brand extensions there. We do not need an extension of the brand. Hey, they're moving into China next year. Oh, look at this. Those poor Chineseians. The brand. Those belts still hanging. Clash, pulling low down. Moomba getting some retribution on JB King. There can't be too many. Oh, running back elbow. Cells left in the brain. Oh, oh, what a chop slam. slam. Jeez, JD King just got flung into orbit there. Absolute earth time from JD King. I'm surprised he doesn't have icicles on him. That was some chokes on from Moonbear. And here we go. It's Could the Moon Punks win the belts here, Steve? This would be amazing. This team that were fashioned at Summer Smash. They always have a little they've always had good banter backstage, these two. What a moment it would be. They do have tag team experience though, let's not forget. Clash with Shining Wizard. Moon Moonbear with the Children of the Moon. That is very correct. Such well, as a popularity singles, you do forget that. And Moonbear, let's not forget as well, he managed to uh, overcome. Oh! Big drop kick from JD King. Moonbear taken he, out of it here. He overcame your endurance series, so at some point you'll be getting a shot of the LWF men's title as well. He could be a double champion here in the LWF. There's no end to Moonbear's potential. Look at this. 
Oh, is it going to be? It is. Made in Vegas. Oh! oh. And Clash's luck may just have run out. Well, you know what they say, house always wins. Well, we've got a ladder still in the ring up right here. We've got chairs and other assorted paraphernalia around the ringside area. It's always, you know, ladders are so precarious as well. I'm not the fondest person of heights, do you? I don't know about not yourself. Not at all, Mikey. My, one of my biggest fears. So I understand the trepidation here, especially oh, when the you're order. in Potador match. The Rodder's top rope. The Rodder's top rope. Oh, look at that. I thought he was going to dive off. He's actually gone up the ladder with King. Oh, oh. the sign to the back of Ryan Lowe. You that didn't see that coming. Just reverberated throughout the venue. Oh, jeez. Oh, the Rodder's on the top of that ladder with King. The belt's only feet away from them. Is King about to be dethroned? Huge header from... Oh! Headbutt from the Rodder who... I think he knocked himself out there. Knocked himself loopy there. JD King is known for being hard-headed. Proved it there. Well, it was to his... Certainly to his benefit. Lankador oh, still... Oh, here we go. Lankador's going for it, but Moonbear's in the ring, and so's Clash. You were right, Mike. Oh, are we going to the Lankadors and the Moon Punks go at it? Yes, we are. You're right. You can't afford to be down for too long. And Moon Bear. Oh, oh. The, the Moon landing. Oh, Saito suplex. Wait a minute. We we've, we've got a chance. They've got a chance here, Mikey. Someone, one of, one of the Moon Punks, need to get it out ladder and grab those belts ASAP. Look at the fatigue in Moon Bear. He's having to use those ropes to lift himself upright. You have to be prepared to take so much punishment in this match and endure it for as long as possible. Well, I'll tell you what, if the Moon Punks can win this, I'm sure they're going to rock the Casbah later on. But oh, it's just the Titan. The Titan's up. Oh, oh Moon Bear with it. Took that chair and, he, the and he's a very angry Titan. Oh! Crash took it over the head too. And Chad Austin, is this his moment now? Is Justin Case finally going to get his hands on those belts? It seems that's the arrangement. Oh, they've got a table, Steve. That's all that's needed. Now we've got tables, we've got ladders, and we've got chairs. Oh my. Of course there's a table. I see, you know. Oh, dearie me. I mean, you, you've got to say that maybe the Lankadors go into this kind of match as favourites, just for their history alone. But when we've seen what these guys are capable of, the brands, Chad Austin, just in case, Moonbear and Clash, maybe that wasn't the case after all. Oh, Clash. Well, the Lankadors have the most experience in these sorts of matches. They are, like we've seen them in many plunder brawls, as Dusty Rhodes would say. Oh, no. Oh, no. What oh on earth no. is this? No. Oh, jeez! Oh, Clash driven through that table. I don't even think they, they have a name for that one. Oh, oh. double boot! Marauder took that low. The Titan took it high. Marauder, of course, Steve, he is. You know, you, you wouldn't really, when you meet him in person, he is, you know, surprisingly tall. And he used his reach advantage there to really get at Chad Austin. Our referee, our zebra patrol here. Did you hear Steve uh, Grimshaw there, Mike? Passing on, a, passing on some sort of message to a Martin, our sound guy. What the hell? I think he was telling him to get someone out here to... But now, what the hell is Ace? Whoa, 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 that's Wheeler! What the hell is Ace Wheeler doing out here? There's no disqualification in this match, obviously. A slide cut, oh, Clash well, is on his own. I get it, now Steve Grimshaw was going over to Martin Arsange asking him why he was reaching for the... Oh, oh my God! The spear to Clash, damn him! Damn Ace Wheeler to hell! I he get no business being out here. I'm guessing Ace Wheeler threatened Martin earlier on, Steve, and uh, Martin has uh, decided to, to, do, to follow his wishes. Can't blame him for that. I wonder what the problem was here. But now we know. I understand now. Now we know. Is Ace Wheeler dragging Clash out of here? Clash, Moomba needs his partner. 12th of October, they're going to face each other, Steve. 
Oh, for God's oh, sake. Oh, no, the moon pumps are down someone. They're down one man. I knew, I knew it was too good to be true that Ace Wheeler could put this on hold just for one night. He'll be out here later. That's it, six person tag. I don't believe this Moonbear's on his own now. Can he do it? I tell you what, Steve, if Moonbear's able to win this all by himself, it'll be oh, a oh my god! Who's attacking Moonbear? Oh, he's caught. Is it? I, I think I know who that is, Steve. I think someone's broken out of HMA. Oh, no. HMP, HMS Strange Ways for the day. This is. This is. The referees is can't it, do anything. Is it who I think it is? It's Cody Walters! It's the brute! How do you get out of Strange Ways? Oh, why is he shaking hands? With, I don't, oh, oh, well. That makes sense, just in case. It's very legally connected. He tagged with Cody Walters last week at mutiny number 19. Maybe oh. it's a bit of quid pro quo there. Further examples, there's absolutely no justice here. He gets Cody out of strange ways for the day and then Cody does him a favour. And Cody has done him a favour. Moonbow is in trouble here. We need some people out here for him. The Moonpunks have been brutally targeted here. Now, wait, are the Brandon... The Brandon Langeros are working together, Steve! I think they are, you know. They Next realise what's going on. Next, cats and dogs are going to be living together. Oh, my God! Glad Austin at the ladder, just in case, came up it. I think they've realised that Chad Austin and Justin Case are too big a threat to be left alone. They've monopolised enough and they're getting what coming to them now at honour and glory. As long as I live, Steve, I never thought we, that we would see the Brandon Melancados working together, but here we are. Never forget, though, it's all about those tag team championship belts hanging above the ring. Justin Case getting slapped around with his own rugby helmet. Marauder, oh, Marauder's fuse when it is when it is hit. It's as good as anybody's. Absolutely, he's one of the, you know, he's a very mellow, very nice guy. But if you get him riled up, you get dropped on your head like this. Oh my word! A quadruple bomb here. Oh, just in case. Why did you bother coming along tonight? Oh. oh. Well, what a shame, AC. It could have happened to a nicer man. Back to the office in Wapping for you, Justin. We've got Chad Austin on his own. The Brandon Melancholo is staring down. Big boot from the Marauder. Oh, good God. Chad Austin's up there. Oh, They're going to do the same again. I, I don't think the ring's going to survive this, Steve. They're going to do the same again. Chad Austin. Oh, oh my God. Oh. I don't think Chad Austin has ever come down from a height like that. They just powerbombed the hummus out of that man. Well, if they can, if they can get him out the ring, this may be between the Brand and the Lancadors. Oh, B is up top. Not something we don't often see B hit these high risk manoeuvres. Oh, big hey, elbow, elbow drop! Ooh, yeah! Savage style elbow by Mr. B, and now Ryan Lowe's in. Ryan Lowe's top. up top. We saw them fly over in Longridge. The brand will do whatever it takes. Oh, big, big double knees. Knees to the ribs. And now JD King's in up top. Oh, I never in my life thought I'd see the brand and the Lancadors working together, but I guess... I never thought I'd be thankful for it. Big oh, splash! got a splash from JD King. Well, that is how big of a threat Chad Austin is. He's called the Titan for a reason, Steve. Oh, what is, what is he doing? is a veritable monster. What is Marauder doing? Marauder, Marauder. here. This guy is... Ryan Lowe holding the ladder for Over Marauder. Marauder! Oh! That is insane height that Marauder just got. The splash on Chad Austin, he can't have anything left now. Surely even Chad Austin's not getting up following that, Steve. Marauder falling out the sky on Chad Austin. I mean, if he gets up from that, he should be on your primetime Mitch channel for being a movie monster, because goodness me. I don't think he is. He's going to be on any creature features anytime soon. Marauder hey. taking my water. I'm okay with it. Well, hydration is important. I may need a refill. 
Oh, what the? What is, is that a rope? It is, that's a rope. Ryan Law was a rope. Oh. Marauder's got a chair. I think um, Austin takes the chair to the head. I think just in case we'll have to return that phone call later. He's a bit tied up at the moment. Look at this. The rope round the throat from Ryan Law. They're showing a mean streak today. We knew was in them, but they're having to reach down to different depths. Chad Austin is a big man that needs to be disposed of in this match, according to the brand of the Lancaster. Maybe, maybe they're gonna maybe they're gonna take him to Trolley Station and tie him to the train tracks. Might be the only way to stop him. The noise in here for the Lancadors. Oh look at this. They're tying him to the ring boasty. Oh the, well this is unorthodox, but it may just work. Oh it's unorthodox, but dare I say it's also ingenious. Chad Austin, who's been hit with every move under the sun. And just in case, are uh, now, you know, he, you know, if they weren't reprehensible human beings, I'd feel sorry for them here. Uh, but they are, so I'm not. Well, this is, you are seeing a first. I've never seen anything like this. Look at, well, well, you can tell that, um, you can tell that, that Mass Marauder, <laughs> Marauder, sorry, used to be in the scouts. That's one heck of a knot. That's a right handcuff as well on Chad Austin. There is handcuffs, there is ropes, this is a wrestling show. Even even Quint from Jaws with, with, with respect that knot that the Marauder just tied. How the hell has Chad Austin just managed to get out those handcuffs by the way, but I don't think they're gonna get round that off that rope. No, Chad Austin desperately trying to fight out of the uh, just in case he's just dead weight at this point. That's tied round the base of the ring, Mikey. And now it's between the brand and the Lancadors. Just in case he's having a snooze and Chad Austin can't move. Oh look at this! We're gonna race to the top here! This is what it's about. We're down to two teams, the brand of the Lancadors. Marauder over the top rope, courtesy of Ryan Lowe. Jamie well, King hits the floor. Just as Aberdeen and Celtic are tied at the top of the table in Scotland, these two teams are tied at the top of the ladder, but which one will grab the belts? The Moon Punks have been taken out. Chad Austin and Justin Case have been tied up. I think it's safe to say, see, that one of these two teams will leave with those belts. Well, that is the way of it. Chad Austin and Justin Case, they're wrapped around the base of the ring. They're not going anywhere. Oh, JD King just told Ryan Lowe to get the tables. Well, well, well that'll line sure fizzled out quickly, isn't it, Steve? Goodness me, as if we've not seen enough. Oh, somewhere, there's a lumber yard who has smiling from ear to ear at this event taking place Steve. We are no closer. We are putting that in. we are putting that man's that kids through college. <laughs> the fate of these guys and we've got tables set up. The brand are gonna do everything it takes tonight. They've said already this is what they do. Baby, this is what we do and this is for you. They're dedicating this to Commissioner Steve Bibby. I'm, I'm, I'm sure you're absolutely thrilled to hear that. I'm, I'm touched, really. I think you're, I, I can only imagine what it's gonna, life's going to be like to you if they do win the belt. So having to deal with the brand as the tag team champions. I'm, I'm trying not to think about that right, right now, Mikey. And, well, oh no. Oh no, suplexes in, su suplexes through the ladders here. The brand ladders, the, the tables, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm, I, I've seen a lot of violence here. There's a lot of hardware out here, it's understandable. Lancador's fighting back. The Lancadors are fighting back here. Oh. JD King and Ryan Lowe getting slammed face first into the stage area. Oh, jeez. JD King hit the ring apron off the post. How many times I, has JD King been turned inside out in this match, Steve? I don't know how he hasn't just, uh, he may have concussion. Uh, well, for uh, not a lot of concussion, he's probably getting some frequent flyer miles. The risks being taken in this We match. have got another table, that's four for the match. You could resurface the floor in this building oh, with the amount no. of wood we've seen tonight. We, we've got we've now five tables. Is that excessive? I don't care. Chad Austin. It's, the, it's called stairway to hell, not stairway pleasant pleasant walk in the countryside. Chad Austin has been whacked with a table again. There, I mean, there's no way those two are getting up again. But I'm calling. I'm doing my job here. Chad Austin yelling at Steve Ibby, but I don't know why he's yelling at me. Oh. There There's you not, go. not much Steve Bibby can do about it. This is well within the rules because there are no rules. Oh, this is, this is 
Oh, the table's gone down. That table. I think there's an issue with the leg there. I think. Uh, oh, JD King. JD King with another unfortunate. Right in his little prince. <laughs> Ryan Lowe's uh, Never Regions have also taken a ring posting. Well, I mean, this has been an uncomfortable match from the start. I'll tell you what, I'm going to be limping just, just out of sympathy once this is all over. Oh, dear. What is going on here? That table there. Oh, it's just about... It's just about maintaining its stance. Well, it, I mean, I what? don't know, Mikey. I don't like this. I've not liked a single second of this match, D. It's been incredibly dangerous. If they suplex a brand over, I must, I must the ropes. commend all eight wrestlers. Even just in case. Having the, having the guts to go out there and fight like this. I just... I don't know what to say, Mikey. This is... It's one of those situations as a... Well, there's a... An onlooker. What do you say? What can you... What can you do? One of those tables has gone down already. Oh! I think Marauder's going to try and adjust it as best he can. What is... Mr. B's up on the stage behind us here. There's a table up on the stage. How many tables are at this event? Oh! Yeah, to the, the table to the back. Sorry, I'm making the same mistakes here. Are, are, are we sponsored by tables? Right. Tell, you, tell you what, this show will be incredibly... This show will be incredibly popular down in Dudleyville. Ryan Lowe with a shot to the, the head with that drink flask there. Oh, hang on, Steve. There's a ladder and a table on the stage, and JD King's climbing it. Oh, Meanwhile, no. Ryan Lowe and Marauder are fighting out in front of us. They're I'm right feeling... up on the stage. Oh, Jesus! Oh, oh my word, Steve. I, I didn't even get a good look at that. What JD happened? JD King with a diving plunger right through Mr. B, right through the table, and that may be the end of him for this match. Would it might be the might be the end of him for the rest of this year. Wait a minute. Oh geez, Marauder missing with the clothesline. There's another table on the that's that's gotta be at least seven tables now. We've got to be careful. We're right behind us here, Mikey. This is the most violent episode of Sesame Street I've ever seen. Ryan look, look Marauder's just biding himself some time to go and check on B, I think. Oh, he's going for that ladder. There's no time to hang around. Well, the only thing hanging around right now are those belts because no one's been able to claim them. I think I might just stand up here, Steve. Apologies to James and Amy if I get in the way, but I'm trying to get out of the way. It's like raining my wedding day. I'm going to have to... Uh, this, you can hear the hush going over right, the building here, everyone. Here. So come on, Steve, can you get out of there? No, I, I, you I might, don't... You might need to put the headset down and, and, and bail. I've got it. Oh no no no! I'm bailing so fast. You, I'm bailing so fast. You can call me Christian. What would these? Oh! oh he's got another one. Cross Ryan body Ryan through Lord the doing table, doing the same. The brand. This might be the chance, Mikey. The crowd think this is awesome. It's awesomely terrifying. Oh. I inadvertently was a was a boost there for JD King. Stopped him toppling over. B's out. Marauder is out. Mikey, we well Captain B's out. This is it. We may have both of the Lancadors have gone through a table. There's no one to stop the brand here. Could this could this be new champion CBB? I think you may. I think we may see it. Chad Austin and Justin Case aren't moving anywhere. They've been beaten to. Well. I'd say they've been beaten to a pulp. Well, I think that would understate it. They've been tied up. The Moon Punks have been attacked by Ace Wheeler. Marauder and Brady Walters, respectively. How the hell is Marauder up and B is up? This is it now. They are not human. This is it now. That is their desire to win, Steve Bibby. This is no! it. How the hell are the Lankadors doing this? I said the same words at Summer Smash. I'll say them again. If the Lancadors. I don't know what's, what we see oh more. Oh my God. I don't know what we see more of this match. Tables are low blows. Two tombstones. 
Stealing tombstones on the brand. Oh! Right, the Langados need to get a ladder and they need to get those belts. The water is in pain. I think he's. Has he pulled his hamstring? Or is it, is, it, is, it, is it cramp? Regardless, he's in a lot of pain. We have seen the Lancadors. Oh, he's in a lot of pain. Marauder can barely can barely stand up here. And then that's and when you're in the ladder match, that is one hell of an impediment. Well, well see, it was called Stairway to Hell and it's lived up to the name, hasn't it? Oh jeez. Look at this, the Lancadors. Oh, oh wait, no! Wait! Oh, JD no. Pink and Ryan Lowe are up! I don't believe this! I don't believe this! The Lankadors are inches from their belts! Oh my god, They're no! They're inches from no. their belts! No! No! Yes. no. Oh. Jesus Christ! The Lankadors are in pieces! Look at the ring, see! The, the brand, the glow of the ladder! The brand! The brand! The brand! The champion! The brand of Bennett! The WF Tag Team Championships and Honor and Glory at Charlie Town Hall. I do not believe it. 